you guys. Welcome to my 16 week bump date. This week the baby is the size of an avocado. Here's how I'm feeling this week. Honestly, this week I am feeling great. I'm feeling energetic. I'm just super excited for the changing of weather. It's been cooling off and fall is my favorite season. So I'm just looking really forward to the fall activities and the upcoming holidays. Besides that, I am feeling like I am getting out of breath more often. Even when shooting these bump dates, I feel like I have to take little breathing breaks between sentences. <sighs> Even that's hard for me to say without taking a breath. And also, as you know, I run and running, I usually am rarely out of breath when I run if I'm running just like a normal pace. And now I'm just like always having to catch my breath when I'm running. And obviously I know it's normal, it's totally fine, nothing to worry about. And I'm just listening to my body and making sure I'm not running too hard or just taking it. And I'm just kind of taking it a bit easy. Also, all of my normal food preferences are pretty much back. So during the first trimester, I was starting to like food Corbin likes more than what I normally like. And we like a lot of the same foods, but there are some very distinct differences. So just for an example, I usually eat plain yogurt and I don't really like sweet yogurt. And Corbin, on the other hand, refuses to eat plain yogurt and will only eat yogurt if it's flavored with like fruit flavored or vanilla or honey or something like that. So in my first trimester, I could not stomach plain yogurt. So I did have to eat the yogurt that had more sugar in it and um, which I know is not really preferable, but I still needed to get my yogurt in with the calcium and all that good stuff. So it was kind of strange for me to want the same foods that Corbin would want. And usually when he will like order food or go shopping, he will, be like, hmm, what's the thing that I know I definitely don't want? And he'll get that because it's probably what I want and it works out almost all the time. So it was just really bizarre to feel like on the total same page with him on the food and eating pretty much what he usually likes to eat. But now my normal food preferences are back, which is great. I no longer need to eat sweet yogurt and I love my plain yogurt again with some fresh fruit and granola and stuff in it and um, just a lot of things like that. Another thing that has been happening this week is I am getting those weird dreams everyone talks about. So some of them are just really bizarre, just really like action packed, really realistic kind of dreams that are kind of fun because I'll like wake up and then I'll be like, wow, that was like a pretty cool dream. And I want to go back to sleep so I can keep dreaming. But then we both actually, Corbin has also had a dream. We've both had dreams about the baby, which is always super fun and exciting. And so first dream Corbin had, he had a dream that we had the baby and he thought it was a boy and it was a baby with black hair. And if you don't know, I posted a picture on my Twitter a while back of myself as a baby, and I was born with jet black hair that stood straight up, like a full head of hair stood straight up, would not be combed down. My mom tried everything, it would not be combed down, and I just looked like this little monkey baby. So I'm just really hoping that our baby also is born with black hair just because I think it's so cute, it's just so unique, and I just would love for our baby to have the same kind of hair I did. So in this dream that Corbin had, it was a baby with black hair, like I had, and he said it was a boy. But then we both had another dream, and it just so happened that these dreams occurred on the same night. We both woke up and we're like, oh, I had crazy dreams. And we both like, it was about the baby. And we both were like, the baby was a girl. So we both had a dream on the same night that we were having a girl and it was a little girl with black hair again. So just a little baby with black hair, but it was a girl. And then Corbin was saying in his original dream when we had the baby and he said it was a boy, he said he wasn't actually sure it was a boy and that the baby was kind of blurry. She, he could see a baby with black hair and he just kind of assumed it was a boy. But then in the second dream, the, not the same dream, but in the second dream where we both had a dream about having the baby, he said he knew it was a girl. So I don't know what that means. 
obviously it doesn't really mean anything, but it's just kind of fun to kind of guess like, well, does that mean we're having a girl? I mean, we both did have a dream the same night of a baby with black hair who was a girl. So I don't know, it's kind of exciting. I guess we'll see. But I wanna know from you guys, because I know pregnancy brings about a lot of weird dreams and it's just kind of bizarre. So if you are pregnant or have been pregnant and you've had some crazy pregnancy dreams, I want to know what they are and just leave one of your favorite ones or one of the craziest ones you've had in the comments below so that I can read them and we can share with each other. Now on news for the baby, the baby is developing taste buds and hearing, which is super fun because that makes me want to just try all sorts of different foods so that the baby can get just like a tiny taste. And I know that the baby can't really have like a major taste, especially right now. And I know that it's more towards the third trimester where the foods you're eating may or may not uh, have a preference with what the baby wants to eat later in life. But it is just kind of fun thinking like, oh, well, if I eat this, that means that maybe the baby will taste it. And it's just kind of fun to have that interaction with the baby. And then also hearing, it makes me really want to start really talking to the baby or like reading books or putting music nearby my belly. And I'm not really sure, I still kind of feel strange of the aspect of like talking, like physically talking to my belly. I don't know if you guys had any sort of weird feelings about that. Not that I, I don't know, it just feels bizarre just because I've never done it before. And I do, I feel like I talk to the baby all the time, but it's more of like mental or like emotional, um, kind of like feeling intuitive talk or something like that, but not really verbally talking. I do think that it would be kind of hard for me to have like a full on conversation. Oh, hey baby, what's going on today? Hope you're having a good day in there. I don't know if you guys have any tips on that or how you started doing that. And maybe I will just start reading books or just like reading things out loud and directing my voice to my belly, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. And I think also as my bump continues to grow, it'll become easier for me and um, less weird or awkward to have like this conversation with my belly. <laughs> and another way that I've been trying to connect with the baby, and I've really kind of done this throughout my entire pregnancy so far, is kind of had like little moments where it's either in the morning or at night or sometimes both, or just like a, a quiet time in the afternoon where I'm just like laying down and I have both my hands on my belly. And I'm just trying to connect with the baby and um, just feel, just like send feelings of like love and happiness to the baby. And especially now, if you watched last week's bump date and I had the exciting news of feeling the first flutters, it's really now so much more fun because I can have those moments and sometimes feel the little flutters of the baby. And it's just kind of a special moment to feel that connection of like, oh, there, there's a little growing baby, a little growing human in there and trying to connect with that human and just make it feel uh, the love that we have so much for it already. I'm starting to feel like now that's in my second trimester and I'm not having a ton of new symptoms and I'm just kind of feeling great so far. I mean, that could change, I guess. But I am feeling like I'm running out of things to share with you or I always feel like I run out of things to share with you until I really, until I really sit down and start to write about, oh, well, actually all this stuff did happen but anyways i would love to start answering any questions and maybe i'll do a q a at one of our upcoming bump dates so make sure that you leave any questions you have for me below and i will make sure to look at those and maybe we can have a q a bump date soon because that i think would be super fun so now i'm going to show you my belly So much for watching. I'm just super excited that the baby is the size of an avocado. It's just getting bigger and bigger and continuing to grow. And I appreciate you all and all of your support and comments. And be where your feet are. Bye.